And guys, welcome back to Mummy Cooks Homemade. My name is Hayley for anybody that's new and we have meals of the week but an extended one. Steve took a few videos of the week that we didn't upload. So here we have jacket potato with cheese and tuna and some rabbit food on the side. We're eating a lot more jacket potatoes these days. Cheaper meal, isn't it? <laughs> Speaking of not so cheap, here was Steve's half a cow. This one was called Daisy. Homemade chips, some fried mushrooms and they were the Sainsbury's beer batter onion rings. They was alright, they weren't the best we've had. Kiev's with um, some new potatoes and rabbit food yet again. Steve does love his rabbit food. Um, these were just panini and some homemade wedges. And Steve made a chicken curry. It's the Mayflower curry sauce. Kids seem to enjoy this. And just some regular white rice. These sausages are from the Fat Butcher. We've got a haul from them coming this week. They, they were smaller than standard sausages, but they are really, really tasty. Um, this was a bacon and chorizo risotto. Got some tender stem on the side, some dwarf beans in the middle with some prawns as well. And Steve likes his tomato as well. This was a smoke, smoky bacon flavoured um, pasta bake with some homemade garlic bread and some little potatoes. And we had that for leftovers the next day. Homemade fish, chips and mushy peas. These were the cod portions that we got. I th don't, can't remember if they were Sainsbury's now or Tesco's. But they were expensive. And here we come with Sunday dinner. So this weekend was the weekend to have the in-laws round. So I'm just doing some quick prep. There's some dwarf beans. A pack and a half of tender stem. My Caitlin really likes the tender stem. But a pack usually does all six of us with the other veggies that I do. I've got Amy sat on, a, on her own little chair, a little pink chair next to me, look. Watching. Can I use that big sharp knife, Mum? Uh, no. <laughs> no, you cannot. I'm going to watch and learn and you can't see on the camera but she's actually watching a tab <laughs> right, these are just some Chantenay carrots I didn't realise some of them dropped down that centre hole I realised after the fact I didn't, didn't do no parsnips yesterday, I completely forgot. Not like me, but I did, I forgot. And some white cabbage. The father-in-law has not been very well. He's had a really bad chest infection because he's got COPD. Um, when he gets a chest infection, it makes him quite bad. But luckily, he was on eating form yesterday, so he ate quite well. Caitlin had, had a bad chest about a week and a half ago. Didn't really seem to spread it around the house, which was a shock. 
Amy luckily seems to manage to miss most things. But there's a lot of bugs at the minute, changing weather and all that. So that's the vegetables for yesterday. As always, done in the multi cooker. 19 minutes and all the vegetables are done. So I used red potatoes for the mashed potatoes and the roast potatoes yesterday because that's what I had. Those were nice potatoes. And Amy's still there hovering, look. It'll change in a minute. It'll be Caitlin using that heat. So we've got a filling hole for Wednesday. Although you wouldn't think it was a filling hole by the price of it. it Steve said he nearly fell over. It was only two bags. So, yeah, you're going to see how much Lidl's gone up in a minute. But well, in a minute, in a couple of days. I don't know if the price differs around the country. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it's definitely gone up around here. We don't use Lidl as much as we used to do because it's not as much of a um, super, uh, discounted supermarket anymore. So the pan to the left is the one with the roast for the roast potatoes. I like to have the long edges on there to get the crispy bits. And the other side is just a small pan of um, potatoes because we don't even use up all of that for mash. So yeah, that's it. All I made was stuffing balls. Didn't add no sausage meat in this week. Just made plain old stuffing balls. We've got some roast beef. And this joint shrunk by half. It was quite surprising to see it when it was done. And it was um, a local butcher's that was about five miles away from us. From where we live, that's local. I'm just going to put some diced onion at the bottom of the um, dish that the beef's going to go on to. And that'll help flavour the juices for the gravy. So the night before I made one of the puddings, which was a pineapple dream dessert. And left that over, it's a no-bake, left it overnight to set. No gelatin or anything like that. And it went down a treat, so I'll do that pudding. They said it was light, so I guess it'll be a good summer pudding. So it looks like a good joint of beef, doesn't it? A nice piece of fat on top for the juices. It was half that size when it came out. I was really disappointed with that. So I cooked it to 63 degrees C, which is medium. I've got one of them thermometers that sticks in the meat and comes out of the oven. So it, it just sets an alarm off when it gets to that temperature. Highly advise them. So I've just done the caramel, which is still bubbling. Me and Amy don't like pineapple. So I've just done a quick caramel tart for us too. I've made this so many times on the channel. So I didn't bother to show you. So that was two puddings for this Sunday. And that just gets topped with some fresh cream. So I'm just going to coat my roast potatoes.
This helps them to get extra crispy. We do like crispy roast potatoes. And there was dinner for yesterday. Roast beef dinner. There was homemade Yorkshire puddings, but there was frozen from the previous Sunday meal, if, if you get what I mean. That was the pineapple dream dessert, and they enjoyed that. So it's got a base, it's got like a pudding layer, and then it's got the cream layer with the mixed um, pineapple in it. And then that base is also crumbled on top as well. So that was the extended meals of the week. Um, nice to be back. There is a haul on Wednesday, like I said, and there was a haul on Friday too, which is a collaboration. So yeah, we're all set for this week. If anyone's inter interested in the pineapple dream dessert, just let me know and I'll pop that video up as well. Thanks so much guys for all your support and it's nice to be back. Bye.